YouTube Video Disclaimer. Welcome to our channel. This video is created specifically for exploring and discussing creation science and the concept of intelligent design. Our content is focused on fostering a community of individuals who share a belief in creation and have faith in the principles of intelligent design. We aim to explore these concepts in depth, offering insights and discussions aligned with this viewpoint. Please note, this channel is not intended to promote misleading content. Our discussions are geared towards intelligent design and do not delve into concepts like haphazard evolution or the Big Bang Theory. This content is particularly suited for those who hold strong beliefs in a creationist perspective. If you are an atheist or have strong beliefs in evolution, you may find that the content of this channel does not align with your views. While this channel might not be for you, we welcome you to visit and explore our content with an open mind, respecting our community's focus and beliefs. Thank you for understanding and respecting the purpose and audience of our channel. Have you ever wondered about the intricate design of a butterfly's wings? Today we're introducing the peacock butterfly, a marvel of nature, scientifically known as Agle I.O. This butterfly is a visual feast, known for its vibrant colours and the distinctive eye patterns on its wings, but its beauty is just the beginning. The peacock butterfly undergoes a complex life cycle, metamorphosing from egg to larva, then pupa, and finally emerging as the adult butterfly we recognise. The remarkable journey of the peacock butterfly starts as an egg and unfolds through several stages until it emerges as the vibrant adult butterfly. What catches your eye when you look at a peacock butterfly? Most likely it's the distinctive eye spots on its wings. These eye spots, however, are more than just ornamental. They're a key survival mechanism, a masterclass in nature's ingenuity. When a predator approaches, the butterfly opens its wings, revealing the large, colourful eye spots. The sudden appearance of these eyes can startle or confuse the predator, buying the butterfly precious time to escape. The intricacy of these eye spots is nothing short of astonishing. Each one is a meticulous pattern of colours and shapes, so precise that it mimics the eyes of larger creatures. The level of detail and the purpose it serves is so remarkable that it prompts a thought. Could this be a product of random processes or is there an intelligent design at work here? These eye spots aren't just beautiful. They're a critical survival tool, serving to startle or confuse potential predators. But the peacock butterfly's wonders aren't limited to its visual allure. This creature is an extraordinary sensorial navigator. Equipped with a remarkable sense of smell, the peacock butterfly uses its antennae not just for balance and direction, but as an intricate chemical detector. These antennae are tuned to pick up the delicate scent of pheromones, helping them find mates even across vast distances. A complex dance of chemical communication unfolds, each signal precise and highly specific. Simultaneously, the peacock butterfly exhibits an impressive navigational prowess. Despite their seemingly delicate nature, these butterflies can migrate over long distances, accurately finding their way back to their breeding grounds. This internal guidance system is a marvel in itself, 
reflecting a level of sophistication that is both admirable and intriguing. Their sense of smell and navigation skills are a testament to their complex, highly sophisticated design. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the peacock butterfly, let's consider the perspective of intelligent design. This viewpoint suggests that the stunning beauty, complex life cycle and precise survival mechanisms of the peacock butterfly are not merely products of random processes, but indicators of a deliberate and intelligent arrangement. Look at the meticulous eye patterns on the wings, designed not just for beauty but to startle predators, a masterstroke of survival strategy. Consider the butterfly's acute sense of smell and sophisticated navigational abilities, a complex system that allows it to find mates and migrate over long distances. These wonders, according to the intelligent design perspective, are too intricate, too precise to be accidental. They suggest a purposeful creator, an intelligent designer behind the elegance and complexity of this marvellous creature. From this viewpoint, every detail in the life of a peacock butterfly points to a deliberate and intelligent arrangement. In conclusion, the peacock butterfly is a marvel of nature. Its dazzling beauty, intricate life cycle and sophisticated survival mechanisms have left us in awe. We've seen the vivid eye spots, the acute sense of smell and the remarkable navigational abilities. From the perspective of intelligent design, these intricate details suggest a purposeful creator. As we ponder the mystery and majesty of the peacock butterfly, we are invited to appreciate and explore the broader wonders of the natural world around us. In the world of insects, few are as captivating and uniquely designed as the dragonfly. Dotted across our planet, they hover over watersides and wetlands, from the smallest ponds to vast marshes. These aerial acrobats are among all winged creatures to grace our skies, their history spanning around a remarkable 7,000 years since the days of creation. Dragonflies inhabit watersides and wetlands, gracing the air with their presence across the globe. Dragonflies are a masterpiece of design. Their bodies are an intricate blend of power, precision and adaptability. The most striking feature is their two sets of wings. Unlike most insects, dragonflies can operate their four wings independently, giving them incredible maneuverability. They can hover in place, dart to the side, even fly backward, all with a level of control that is unrivaled in the insect world. But that's not all. Take a closer look at their eyes. Those large, bulbous eyes are made up of thousands of tiny lenses, providing them with nearly a full circle of vision. This panoramic view of the world makes them expert hunters, able to spot and track their prey with deadly accuracy. These features combined, the agile wings and the exceptional eyesight, make the dragonfly a truly remarkable creature. They are not just insects, they are agile flyers, precise hunters and masters of the skies. The life of a dragonfly begins in water, where the female lays her eggs. Nestled amidst aquatic plants or deposited directly into the water, these eggs are the start of a remarkable journey. After about a week or two, the eggs hatch into nymphs, also known as larvae. These nymphs are far from the graceful creatures we associate with dragonflies. They are voracious predators, equipped with a unique lower lip or mask, which they use to catch other aquatic creatures. The dragonfly nymphs are the rulers of their watery world for a significant period, which can range from a few months to several years, depending on the species. During this time, they undergo a series of molts, each one bringing them closer to their final form. But the true marvel of the dragonfly's life cycle is the metamorphosis. When the time is right, the nymph crawls out of the water and onto a plant stem. There it anchors itself firmly before its exoskeleton begins to crack open. Slowly, the adult dragonfly emerges. A delicate creature of the air born from a creature of the water. Its wings, once folded and damp, extend and harden in the sunlight. After a transformative journey, they emerge from their watery world, unfurling their wings to take to the skies. Now as adults, they trade their aquatic hunting grounds for the open air, becoming the swift and agile flyers we know and admire. This transformation, from water-dwelling nymph to sky-dominating adult, is a testament to the dragonfly's remarkable life cycle. Dragonflies play a vital role in the balance of nature. They are not just beautiful creatures who grace our skies with their iridescent wings, but they are also the unsung heroes of our ecosystem. 
As predators, they keep the populations of mosquitoes and other insects under control. This is no small task. Consider this, a single dragonfly can consume hundreds of mosquitoes in a day. That's thousands in a week and tens of thousands over a season. Imagine the mosquito population boom we'd experience without our dragonfly allies. But their role doesn't stop there. Dragonflies also serve as a crucial food source for a variety of wildlife, including birds, spiders and frogs. Their existence in the food chain helps ensure a balanced and thriving ecosystem. So the next time you see a dragonfly darting through the air, remember, they are not just beautiful, they're essential. Their presence is crucial to maintaining a balanced ecosystem. To many cultures, dragonflies symbolize change, adaptability, and the deeper understanding of life. These delicate creatures, with their iridescent wings and nimble flight, have found their way into the hearts and minds of people around the world. In Japan, they are symbols of courage, strength, and happiness. In Native American cultures, they signify transformation and renewal. Their unique design and captivating flight patterns have not only inspired cultural symbolism, but have also influenced art and literature. From ancient cave paintings to contemporary digital art, dragonflies have been a recurring motif, representing beauty, freedom and the fragility of life. Poets and authors too have been captivated by these aerial acrobats, incorporating them into their works as metaphors for change and self-realization. Their delicate beauty has inspired artists and poets, capturing the imagination of all who observe them. Have you ever paused to marvel at the intricate beauty of a mandarin duck. This feathered spectacle, native to the tranquil rivers and lakes of East Asia, is a living canvas of vibrant colors and detailed patterns. It's as though an unseen artist, armed with an infinite palette, meticulously painted each feather with the utmost care and precision. Take a moment to consider the mandarin duck's stunning plumage. Each feather is a masterstroke, with vibrant hues of royal blues, emerald greens and fiery oranges blending seamlessly into one another. The patterns are nothing short of a miracle, with perfect symmetry and precision that would make even the most skilled artist green with envy. It's as if each feather is a piece of a grand puzzle, coming together to form a breathtaking spectacle of colour and grace. But who is this artist, you might ask? Who could craft such a masterpiece? where every detail, every colour, every pattern is so thoughtfully designed? It's a question that invites us to delve deeper, to ponder the mysteries of nature and the artistry behind it. The beauty of the Mandarin duck is not merely skin deep. Beneath its vibrant exterior lies a complex creature, perfectly adapted to its environment. Its plumage not only serves as a stunning visual display, but also provides warmth and buoyancy enabling it to thrive in its aquatic habitat. But could all this be a mere coincidence? Could nature in all its randomness produce such a perfectly designed creature? Or is there a greater intelligence at work, a master designer who has carefully planned and executed every detail of the Mandarin duck's appearance? These questions lead us to ponder the mysteries of nature, the complexities of life and the possibility of intelligent design. The Mandarin duck with its dazzling display of colours and intricate patterns, serves as a testament to the artistry of nature. It invites us to pause, to marvel and to contemplate the mysteries of its design. The Mandarin duck, a breathtaking spectacle of colour and grace, invites us to ponder the mysteries of its design. But the Mandarin duck is not just a feast for the eyes. There's a purposeful design reflected in every stage of its life cycle. As spring arrives, the male mandarin duck, with its fiery crest and iridescent feathers, starts a spectacular display. This flamboyant exhibition is not a frivolous act, but a serious endeavour to attract a mate. A testament to the power of beauty, it's as if the unseen artist knew that the male needed to be endowed with such striking colours to fulfil this crucial role. Once the female is captivated by the male's vibrant display, the couple chooses a nesting site. Interestingly, they opt for tree cavities high above the ground, a strategic choice to protect their offspring from predators. It's as if the designer knew the dangers these tiny creatures would face and provided an elevated safe haven. The female then lays her eggs, each a tiny promise of life. 
She incubates them for about 30 days, her duller plumage blending perfectly with the surroundings, providing a natural camouflage. It seems as if foresight was applied, knowing she would need to stay hidden during this vulnerable period. When the ducklings hatch, they're not left to fend for themselves, but are cared for diligently. They're taught to swim, to find food, and to avoid danger. The parents' constant vigilance and care, the way they nurture their young, speaks volumes about the purposeful design in their life cycle. As the ducklings grow, their feathers start to take on the exquisite patterns and colours of their parents, a clear sign that they're ready to embark on their own journey of life, love and survival. The cycle then continues, each stage unfolding with an undeniable sense of order. Every stage of the Mandarin duck's life cycle seems to unfold with a sense of purpose and order. This purposeful design, this thoughtful planning, this harmonious cycle of life, it all suggests an intelligent hand at work, a master artist who knew just what each creature needed to thrive and survive in this grand canvas of life. The beauty of the Mandarin duck resonates deeply with humans. Across the globe, they are celebrated as symbols of love and fidelity. In the East, they are often depicted in pairs, their vibrant colors and harmonious posture a testament to enduring companionship. This symbolism isn't just cultural tradition, but an echo of the duck's own mating habits. A pair once formed stays together for life. Could it be that the designer of these creatures intended this parallel, this mirrored symbolism between human values and nature's design? It seems the Mandarin duck is not just an object of aesthetic admiration, but a living symbol of our own aspirations for love and fidelity. This connection, this reflection, suggests a deeper significance behind the design of the Mandarin duck. Like a well-crafted novel, every detail, every color, every behavior seems to carry meaning and purpose. In the Mandarin duck, we see a reflection of our own values and aspirations. Yet the Mandarin duck presents us with a profound mystery. This creature with its vibrant plumage and graceful movements seems to defy the randomness of existence. Its adaptation to different environments, from the tranquil lakes of Asia to the urban parks of Europe, suggests a level of complexity that goes beyond mere chance. Whether it's the way they navigate their surroundings, their mating rituals, or their ability to survive in diverse habitats, every aspect of the Mandarin duck's life seems to point to a thoughtful, intelligent design. And then there's their uncanny ability to form lasting pair bonds, a behavior that mirrors our own human relationships. All these elements combine to form a compelling case for a blueprint, a grand design behind their existence. The Mandarin duck's existence is a testament to the beauty and complexity of life. So, what can we learn from the Mandarin duck? It's not just a creature of stunning beauty and complexity, but a testament to the artistry of nature itself. Each vibrant feather, each intricate pattern, and even their life cycle, all these point towards a thoughtful, purposeful design. The Mandarin duck isn't merely a creature to be admired for its physical beauty, but to be appreciated for the deeper mysteries it holds. It symbolizes love and companionship, values that resonate with us humans. But beyond that, it stirs us to question, to ponder the very fabric of life. How did such beauty and complexity come to be? Is there an intelligent design behind it all? These questions don't have easy answers, yet the Mandarin duck invites us to open our eyes to the beauty and complexity of life and to consider the possibility of an intelligent design behind it. Have you ever pondered the complexity and beauty of the microscopic world? Picture a world so small it fits within a dewdrop, teeming with life forms that execute intricate functions with astounding precision. From bacteria to amoebae, these tiny marvels replicate DNA engage in elaborate cellular processes and interact within an ecosystem as complex as any we can observe in larger life scales. The microscopic world, teeming with life, paints a breathtaking picture of complexity and beauty.
Consider the argument of intelligent design versus random chance. The proponents of intelligent design contend that the complexity and functionality we observe in biological systems and universal constants hint at an intelligent cause rather than an undirected process. They argue that the intricate interdependencies within these systems and the fine-tuning of universal constants are too complex and functional to have emerged by mere chance. The intricacy of protein folding, for example, is seen not just as a random occurrence, but as a sign of purposeful design. The beauty of nature often surpasses mere survival necessities, this breathtaking display, from the flawless symmetry of snowflakes to the vibrant hues on a butterfly's wing, is seen by proponents of intelligent design as more than just a product of random chance. They argue that this beauty is evidence of an intelligent designer who, beyond engineering complex mechanisms for life, also imbued it with an inherent aesthetic value. Just as human-made creations bear the mark of their creators, so too does the natural world bear the hallmarks of intelligent craftsmanship. Critics of intelligent design argue for the sufficiency of natural processes like evolution. They believe these mechanisms can account for life's complexity and beauty. However, proponents of intelligent design question this view. They wonder if random mutations and environmental pressures alone could truly produce the vast array of life forms and their intricate functionalities. They argue some systems and organs appear irreducibly complex, challenging the gradual development theory. The debate over life's origins remains a complex and fascinating conversation. In the intelligent design perspective, the universe is a testament to design. The world is seen not as a haphazard collection of random occurrences, but as a purposeful creation. The beauty and order observed in nature, from the delicate symmetry of a snowflake to the vast expanse of a galaxy, are viewed as signs of an intelligent source. The complexity we observe in life, from the vast to the microscopic, is seen as indicative of purpose and planning. The intricate workings of a single cell, the stunning diversity of species on Earth, the precision of celestial bodies orbiting in space, all these are considered marks of a designer's hand. This view of intelligent design doesn't just seek to understand the mechanisms of life, it also strives to interpret the meaning and origin behind them. While the debate continues, the perspective of intelligent design offers a compelling lens through which to view and appreciate the natural world.